Hey everybody, here we go. It is another episode of Car Wash Magazine Live. I am your host, as always, Matt DeWolf, Editor-in-Chief of Car Wash Magazine. So the t today's show, guys, this one's all about grand reopenings, uh, grand openings, grand things, all things, whatever you're up to in your business, we're going to talk about it today to help you uh, make sure that when you launch that new business or launch that new brand that you can hit the ground running and uh, really uh, be successful from the get-go. Um, real quick, though, I got I to gotta use this 30 seconds to tell you about something because uh, we haven't, I haven't done any um, This Week in Car Wash for a while. So I do have to say, I do have a, a lovely bag. Uh, it's a... It's a Dry bag, I think is what they're called. Um, you know, you put your put your goods in here and you zip them up and and uh, and just like that, you've got safe electronics in water things. So, how do you get one of these? You become an ICA member in the month of June, uh, and guess what? Right now, you can use June ten all lowercase at carwash.org/join, and if you do that, you're gonna get a dry bag or wet bag or a wet dry bag or whatever that thing is. So. Um, <laughs> there you guys go. Make sure you check it out, carwash.org slash join and support everything we're doing here uh, at ICA. Now, let's get back to why you're all here, uh, grand reopenings. So <clears throat> there's a fact that there is, fact number one, there is a recipe for you to follow when you do an opening or a reopening. But fact number two is <laughs> that like any great recipe, uh, the magic uh, that will take you to that next level is your ability to adapt and to season that season that thing and to cook it right, right? So same thing. We're going to give you a recipe, but there's nuance in this, and we're going to get into that. So for those of you who are just here for the quick information and you want the recipe, here's we're going to show it to you right now. Okay, so what is the recipe, Matt? Well, friends, I will tell you what the recipe is. Uh, number one, if you look on your screen, number one is giveaway washes. Number two is sign up members. See it right there? Sign up members. And number three for you right down here is give back to the community. That's it. That's all you got to do. End of show, right? Wrong. Because that's like saying to you, uh, hey, you want to know how to make cookies? Easy. Butter, flour, sugar, put it all together, uh, put it in the oven, bake it, you're good. Those aren't going to taste very good. So your business won't quite get there with just those three steps. Let's dive in uh, here in a moment, shall we? We've got Beth Martin uh, going to join us from Express Wash Concepts and uh, Sam Sousa from All American Express uh, out in California. And one of our guests is on 38, <laughs> 38 Chambers of Commerce. Uh, and another of our guests is experimenting with some pre-sale opportunities when it comes to Unlimited and really evaluating that. So we've got a great show for you. Let's bring our guests in off of mute right now. Here we go. Beth and Sam, welcome to the program. Oh, Thanks guys, for having us. Every time, every time, I want energy. <laughs> Fired up. Welcome to the program. Woo! Thank you for yes. having us. All right. There, awesome. I'll get started. All right. Thanks. All right. All right, Sam. I know you're not an energy guy. That's not your thing. That's fine. We'll work. We'll work on that together. Um, okay. Grand openings. All right. So, Beth, you've done a few. Sam, you're working on num location number two. Um, did I get the recipe right? Absolutely. I think that's definitely a recipe for success. The thing is, is that every chef is going to have their own special sauce. And so I think that's, that's what we're going to allude to a little bit today is what Sam and I have experienced. Um, and that has really elevated our grand openings to the next level. So let's start, shall we, with uh, step one in this recipe. Um, we said the recipe, what was number one? Number one was giveaway washes. All right. Well, that's a pretty, pretty sweeping statement. Uh, what does that look like? Uh, Sam, do you want to start? What is what is giving away washes look like for you when it comes to uh, opening a, a new location? Well, what we did when we were ready to open, we kind of uh, scheduled the day when uh, we were ready. And we kind of used Facebook and Instagram and boosted it out, let all everybody in the town post on all the, the local uh, Facebook groups and everybody and let them know we were doing free car washes. So Everybody that came on the site got our top, our works wash or best wash so they can uh, give it a try. They were also able to sign up for the membership. So we did, on this one, we did two free days of washes, and it was pretty much jam-packed, lines out in the street all day you know, long. So that worked real well, but we are also signing up a lot of customers. We had extra staff on site um, getting people signed up, 
and then we rolled out. We, on the next site, we might go, you know, do a week or five days, do it a little bit longer. So it's not, it seems like everybody funneled in those two days and it was just mad chaos for those two days. So maybe extend it out, get more people opportunity to get in. But definitely those first two days, uh, you got to be ready for them and, and staffed up. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's key, right? Like you don't want to give away all these washes and have people show up and have their experience be just garbage. Like that's yes. not good. That's not going to, that's not going to end well for anybody. Um, uh, Hey Beth, what's, what about for you? What's, what's your kind of, um, your, not to overuse a term, but what's your recipe for giving away free washes? I think that, that our recipe, we've kind of evolved here over the past 24 plus grand openings that I've done with EWC. And like Sam, we kind of started out doing just a two to three day weekend free wash period, but we've since expanded that to do 10 days of free washes. We find that that gives kind of our, our customers, um, it's, it's a real sweet spot for timing for everybody to come in and give us a try. And of course we lure them in with a free signature wash, but you know, obviously our, our main goal is going to be to sign up unlimited customers during that 10 day period. And like Sam, you know, we do the whole digital advertising. We do radio advertising, TV, bring out the media. Um, but also we can't overlook um, the importance of your on-site signage. Um, and so we do huge four by eight free wash today signs, grand opening signs, spinner arrows we've got different station rotations for our team members so we park people out at the curb to bring that traffic in i'm just showing everybody a little bit of a little bit of the sign here the, you get the, <laughs> you, this is a which one of your brands is this? this is the blue and green oh this is clean yeah so this is your clean brand is it clean okay yeah, i yeah. can't see it you can't see it you don't you just get to look at me unfortunately sorry for that <laughs> um but but yeah we've got the big blue water drop looking thing in the back and we've got the spinner out front um, super cool, super cool stuff there. Um, on-site experience is key to do part two of this recipe, which is signing up members. And we're, for you guys watching at home, if you guys have questions, uh, go ahead and put those in the feed and we'll, we'll get to them. Uh, we're going to run through this recipe for you uh, at kind of a high level, and then we're going to come back to a few things as we go through this program. So uh, step number two in the recipe, sign up members. Okay, so we gave away some washes. We've got people... Um, you know, coming coming to the wash, we gave them a really nice experience when when they were there. How do you sign them up? Like, what do you, what's that process like? And let's start. Let's go reverse order. Beth, why don't you kick us off in terms of um, some of the things that you all do to make sure you're signing members up while you've got them there at your location and beyond? Okay, um, it all starts with training, and that happens long before the grand opening and even the soft opening. So we typically will take, um, you know, a full day, sometimes two days before we even soft open the site and train each and every team member on our pitch points, our talking points, FAQs, the type of promotions that we're offering, making sure that our team members can put, you know, their best pitch forward when we bring, um, the customers on site. So that's probably the most important thing. And I know that by the time we do that free wash week, everybody's well versed. We bring the customers to them through marketing and then our team members take it over from there. What, what about for you, Sam? What's that process like for you? I know you do some stuff with data that's pretty cool. Yeah. So for us, we have a, an app called Wash Club. So we were able to basically put our app out there about a week before we even opened or did the free car washes. So we had a lot of people signing up. We send them the information. They download the app. They can sign up on there. And we did 50% off uh, of the membership, you know, for the first month. So we pushed that. I think uh, on the next one with the app, we have the availability and we can pre-sale up to 30 days, but we don't actually charge them until the day we open. So we can get people to sign up, get them in the queue. They don't actually get charged till the day we open. That way their memberships get started, but we're able to push that and get people to sign up offsite which kind of alleviates a lot of um, the stress on the staff here. We have iPads so we can run around the parking lot and everything and sign them up, but we can also hand them flyers. It has everything with our app on there so they can check out the wash. If it's too busy, they can go home and they can sign up themselves. So it's very user friendly. Well then on the, the codes we use, we can capture that data. We can see how many customers we won, how many customers we lost on that first, uh, you know, promotion. And then we also teamed up with our community partners and gave them their own code. 
so they can promote it. And anybody that signed up under their code, we gave 10% back to those organizations. So they kind of helped drive the club because they got residual income off those signups. You're making my job easy. You segued for me. I don't like, I, why am I here today? You guys can do this on your own. See, this is how I know I've had you guys on the show too much. You're, you're starting to do my show for me. That's okay. All right. Well, step three in the recipe, guys, community. Sam, you just started into it. Um, let me put it up here for the folks at home so they can see. Uh, step three in the recipe, give back to the community. Just to recap for you, one, give away free washes, two, sign up members, and three, give back to the community. Sam, why don't you finish that thought? Tell us more about giving back to the community and, and how that helps. We picked three local organizations. One was the Let It Be Foundation. They uh, help kids that have, have cancer in the local community. The other one's Ontario Christian Schools and the Bridge Church, which is a neighbor right next door to us. So we kind of partnered up with them, gave them their own code, let them send out you know, uh, their flyers and people that signed up under their code or bought a wash at the kiosk. We have their washes on the kiosk with their logos on there. And then each quarter we give back um, 10% of either their wash membership or their daily wash. So that, we still have the same community partners two, two years later. With Let It Be, they provide for 38 families um, of kids that have cancer. So any family that's under the Let It Be organization gets a free wash, works wash membership. So all the families can always have a clean car. You know, they're going through the stress of dealing with the child with cancer. So they kind of help them with groceries and all that. But we, we give them all free car washes as long as they're under that care. So that's been a great driving force. We got a lot of people that come from a longer distances away because they're part of these organizations. So giving back to them, I think is really, you know, got us customers that normally wouldn't drive as far because they like supporting those organizations. So that's a big one. If you can find a local charity to work with and donate back with, they're going to be your big advocate, speak for you throughout the city and, and, you know, gain a lot of traction through the community. Yeah, that's, I mean, we talk about it all the time, right? Giving back is a big piece of your business in general. And Beth, I know that you guys do a f phenomenal job giving back. Can you talk a little bit about how that fits into this recipe for you all? Sure. So what we do, you mentioned at the start of the program about all the different chamber of commerces that we're a part of, um, but we really leverage those chambers. Um, and so as soon as we break ground on these sites, we're in contact with them to find out some background on local organizations that they would recommend that we work with. And, and we're looking for what we call hyper local organizations. So when we fundraise for these nonprofits, sometimes we're meeting their annual budgets just in that 10 day free wash period. Um, and those are the types of organizations that we like to work with. So super important. We make sure that when we establish the relationships with them, their volunteers are a part of our free wash week. We have volunteers come on site to help work the stack lanes to solicit donations and, um, some organizations do that. They have the manpower to bring people out. Others don't. But I've, I've got to tell you, when you involve the nonprofit partner on site, I mean, the numbers that come in are just staggering. We had one of our grand openings just this past month. I mean, they broke an EWC fundraising record for a free wash week period with around $15,000 in donations. And then our grand opening that we just ended on Sunday, they're over $20,000 in both the results of nonprofit partners coming on site um, to, to be a part of the process. Yeah. It's like, it's like, um, I mean, it's like an influencer strategy, but you, you don't really have to pay for it. Right. I mean, no, you're going to, you're going to do good, do good by, um, by giving, you know, proceeds from these washes away and they're going to go out and just bring customers to you and bring that pool in so that you can complete the recipe. See how mm -hmm. this works, friends? This is how this goes. Um, there is a recipe. There is nuance to it. Um, we've talked a little bit about kind of each of these three three areas. I want to get a little bit more into the weeds on a couple of things. Um, giving away washes. Okay. So, yeah, we got to give away washes. But how, how are you all um, kind of making your presence known? Or what are you doing that's like um, making people realize that your wash is there, it's new, it's open, and that you're giving away washes. Let's, let's go there. How are you marketing the thing? And let's start, um, we'll start with Sam again on this one. So again, we're using Facebook, social media, doing boosted posts. Uh, we did a promo video, you know, uh, talking about the grand opening. 
talking about the monthly membership. So we, we relied a lot on social media and uh, those avenues to get it out there. We recently, uh, we're going to jump into the, we are now using OpSpot. We weren't using it on the first location. So on location two, we already got another code going. We're going to launch it a few months before we open, get people to sign up for that club. We'll do our week of free car washes. And then about a week later, we'll try to get them back again and give them another free car wash, but get them into that drip campaign. Well, they'll get the free car wash. They'll be able to rate us on Google, and then they'll get all the, the campaigns to sign up. So that's kind of the route we're going to take now is, is give them the free car wash the first time, let them experience it, and then try to get them back a second time with another free car wash, and then eventually get them into that monthly membership. You know, everybody's not going to sign up right away when they first pull up. Some of them are a little hesitant. They want to try it a few times. But we try to give them at least one or two chances and then a 50% off to come back, get them there three times, and then and then hit them with the club to try to convert them. Yeah, I love that, Sam. That's um, that's what we – another one of my favorite things to talk about, customer journeys, right, and that life cycle communication and making sure that you're staying in touch with those. And um, when you've got these people on site and you're capturing that data, you got to do something with it. So I love that you're leveraging OpSpot to do that. And to get them into this journey and to run them through. And I, I think it's really smart, too, to do the, you get, you get the freebie, right? And then you lure them back with a little bit of a discount offer. It's like, okay, I've, I've tried it. It was pretty cool. It was pretty good for free. Okay, yeah, I'll do it again. It was pretty good for, you know, pretty good for my discounted offer. And then by that point, they've been to your wash twice, right? And they've had two really good experiences. So they're moving down that ladder down that funnel where you want them to be to sign up for that, that unlimited membership. So that's super cool. Uh, I, I want to share with people uh, real quickly because, because Sam, you shared it with me. We're going to roll a little video that you guys use on social to kind of promote some of this stuff. So check it out, everybody. Hello, this is Sam Souza. We're down here at All American Express Car Wash, 7856 Pine Avenue in the city of Chino. Uh, we're down here showing you what the car wash is all about. Please come out this Friday. We're having a ribbon cutting ceremony and grand opening. Roscoe's Famous Dale will be down here cooking hot dogs. We'll also have multiple community partners out here. We're doing a promo on a Wash Club app, 50% off your first month for unlimited car washes. Hope you all can make it on down here this Friday. See you then. Super cool, Sam. You were lo looking pretty fresh in that video, my friend. <laughs> um, so that's a, that's a pretty neat way to, to promote the new location and to use that content on social and get that out there. Um, all the traditional things make sense too, flyers and, and all that kind of thing. Beth, is there anything that you all do, um, you know, as you've done a few of these over the years? <laughs> anything you guys do that's really awesome? You know, I, I think that... We do pretty much everything that Sam mentioned. Um, we'll also do a little bit of radio, depending, well, we always do radio, but depending on the market, um, we'll bring out um, and do a radio remote on site. Um, we do follow up our free wash week period, typically with a direct mail or a print mail piece that'll bring customers on site um, where they can still get a free wash and then sign up for club that way as well. Um, but other than that, I, I mean, anything that you can do, I think, creatively to bring people out. And, and it's trial and error, really. Just um, try different things and see what works for your market. Well, there is one thing that you're doing that I think is super fun. I don't know if this is necessarily like uh -oh. a, marketing, a marketing tactic or where you would <laughs> where you would put this in the, in the nomenclature here. But you guys have giant inflatables. Like, like giant, like two story inflatables. Can you talk about that? We sure do. <laughs> Those are fun. Those are new and fun as of the last several months. And we have got 15 foot inflatables that we use. And we also do the, the dancing airmen guys. I don't know why I feel the need to, every time I say that I feel the need to do the motions. Um, but we do that as part of the overall, you know, on site uh, pack signage package to bring people, um, on site, but they're just, they're super fun. We also have mascots that we'll bring out, um, that people actually get inside. We've got, um, six foot inflatables that you can get inside to, to draw traffic in, um, as well. So I, I think those are worth the investment. I mean, those big inflatables were a significant investment, but if I had to choose between 
purchasing those, for example, and increasing my digital budget at this point, I would kind of shift some of those dollars over to get some of that fun stuff that you can display on site. Yeah, it's pretty fun to it's pretty fun to have like giant blow up cows and <laughs> ducks and I mean, come on. We're in this business for yeah. fun, right? We we are. Ab- absolutely. And what's great about those too is that you can use them beyond the grand opening period because they have interchangeable yes. signage um, that you can put on them. So highly recommend. Keep the fun, <laughs> keep the fun element going there. So if you're looking for something to try out on your next opening or reopening. Giant inflatables, friends. You heard it here first. Get a giant inflatable. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. I, I just want to go buy one and like have one outside my house. <clears throat> I, I don't know what I don't know what the character would be yet. Maybe it's just a big magazine. That'd be a little weird. Um, okay, so we've talked about the recipe. We, were, we we talked about how to get some people to your site. We've talked about um, giving away those washes, signing up members, giving back to your community, um, and we talked about most importantly, and all of that is collecting data while you can so you can build that journey for folks um have you found have either of you found anything super helpful in terms of getting people comfortable with with giving you information because i know sometimes there's a little bit of friction in terms of the customer doesn't want to give you their email address or maybe their phone number anything that's really worked on that front for you all Uh, and beth why don't you go first Okay. Well, we've transitioned to a landing page process during our free wash week. So when customers come on site, the first thing they're going to do to get their barcode to redeem their free wash at the kiosk is visit a landing page. And we're going to get their name, email, and mobile phone number. And I would say probably 90 percent of our customers are comfortable giving us that information. The 10 percent that aren't, we're still going to scan them through. So that's fine. But it's a great way to collect the data. And what we do with that is we make sure that we send out um, a Google My Business review. So we'll send them a text about 30 minutes after they've redeemed that wash to give us a review. And, you know, the bonus with that is that we can open up a site and have 150, 200, typically four and a half to five star reviews um, on our GMB page within the first 10 days. So um, extremely important to collect the data. And I recommend that everybody do it one way or another. Yeah, that's huge. Getting those, getting a a, a foundation laid of positive reviews. And I mean, come on, if you get a free wash, can you really give a bad review? Let's be honest here. (laughs) I mean, you could, I suppose. I guess you could. Trust me, you You could. could, Yeah. (laughs) They happen, I guess. Sam, what about you? Anything that you found super um, helpful in terms of getting people to kind of give you their data, get get that information? Yeah, so for us, we're using the OpSpot to capture that data because people are having to text in, so they're texting in with their mobile phone number. As soon as they get that free wash, uh, five minutes later, um, they're sent with another message to rate us. So that's linked straight to our Google My Business page. So they can rate us right on there, uh, sit on the link, but then that starts their journey on to you know, three days later, they'll get the 50% off coupon. So we're able to see how many people redeem the free wash, how many people redeem the 50% off. And then at day 21, we send them a promotion to join the club for the price of the wash. So we're able to see how many people, you know, can redeem those numbers. And then once we convert them into the club, we have that data on our uh, wash club app where we can see who's captured and who, you know, didn't sign up for that second month. So we're using kind of two platforms to manage that data, but we're mostly using OpSpot on site to capture that information and then start them on that journey. And then like Beth said, you know, if we can get as many good reviews as you can, you know, you do get a lot of five-star reviews, you do get a lot of feedback, but there is some negative ones. Even if you give them a free car wash, they'll say, oh, my car was still dirty. So then we have the option to respond to them and give them another free car wash and, and try to give us another try. So it kind of sends you an alert and a message so you can respond to those customers and try to get them back here, you know, another time. All right. So I want to, I'm going to ask my, my final question here in just a moment, but before I get to that, uh, I want to know what, what hasn't worked? Like, what should I not do? What's, what's a mistake um, that I can avoid <laughs> in doing an opening or a reopening. Uh, Beth, you want to start us? Hmm, that's a tough one. Um, because even mistakes are opportunities, yeah. right, to learn. But, I, you know, in going through these, 
I think what I've learned not to do, particularly from the nonprofit donation perspective, is to not collect things. And and what I mean by things is is we've had grand openings where we've collected school supplies. Um, if we've had a grand opening surrounding back to school, um, we've had nonprofit partners that are food banks and we've collected non-perishable food items, which is a very, very, the car wash is just a bad environment to hold on to those things, right? Especially those boxes. Um, no, no, no. Um, and so I, I would say collect money. If, if you're focusing on your nonprofit donations, focus on collecting money versus things because they can turn around and do so much more with money than they could with donated canned food items, for example. Yeah. Less mold. <laughs> less, uh, right. A lot, a lot less mold. <laughs> yes. Turns out, uh, Sam, what about you? Anything that, um, you kind of learned in, in the first go round that you're not going to do for rent round two? Yeah, I would say just make sure you're ready. Make sure your staff is trained. Make sure they're ready because the first 10 days is going to be chaos. So make sure you got extra people on site. Make sure they know how to navigate however your wash club sign up is, whether it's an app or on that point of sale. But just make sure you're ready. That way you can provide the, the good customer service and make the good first impression. So a lot of sites you'll go to, they'll, they'll be understaffed you know, or something, and they're just not ready for that. Everybody's kind of running around. So I think that's the biggest thing is, if you got to take an extra couple of days for training, but make sure you're ready to put on your good first impression for the customers that are coming in. Yeah, that's huge. That that's that's the first chance they have to interact with your brand and your business, and we you got to knock that out of the park every time. Um, all right, guys. Last question for you. I always have to ask this one because I want to make sure that everybody has one concrete takeaway from these programs. And so, what is one thing that I can do today to better I don't know what my question is. It doesn't really work in this context. How can I be better? What's one small thing I can do to make sure that my next opening is a success? Beth, all yours, my friend. Okay, so one of my favorite memes right now, um, drum roll, right, is hold on, let me overthink this. I'm going to repeat that. (laughs) Hold on, let me overthink this. And Preparation is the key to success, preparing your teams, setting them up for success, using your people, not in a bad way, but using your nonprofit partners and your team members and, you know, the mayor to come snip the ribbon for you. Um, This is a business that is built around people. um, So don't forget that. That's a good one. That's a good one. How about you, Sam? One thing, one thing that I can do to make sure my next opening is a is a huge success. What are basically what are you doing right now? Because you want your next one to be a huge success. We're getting there, but I agree with Beth. I mean, get get the Chamber of Commerce there. They invite all the city council members, the mayor, all the community you know partners. Get them there. But then also, you know, make sure your your team is prepared. Everybody's there. You know, ready to go on site, and then just. Make sure everybody has a good experience. What I would want to do is we did that little video that gained a lot of traction. Hire a videographer to come in, take some videos. You know, you're, you're washing cars. Normally, we do the grand opening about 30 days after we open just to get all the bugs worked out. So hire a videographer to come in there, take a bunch of cool shots so you can use that for social media and use it promoting. So that's money well spent that, that we've done, and we're going to do that on location too so we have a lot of content to use and, and to market with. Awesome. Awesome. I love those ideas. Look, in this industry right now, there's a ton of openings happening, a lot of reopenings happening. Um, Hopefully, we gave you a good recipe and a little bit of that secret spice to help you get you on your way uh, in your business, whatever you might be working on. Look, at the end of the day, friends, have fun with it. Be creative. But at the core, deliver on that experience and you're going to kill it. So super excited for everybody out there. Um, Big thank you to Beth and Sam for being on the show today. Thanks, guys. Always nice to have you guys here. Thank Thank you. All righty. And you know what? Guess what? When you're out there this week, when you're out there and you're opening your new location, there's only one thing that you've got to do, and that is keep it clean. I'm just having fun.